our first annual solar thon. So we are installing six solar electric systems on the homes behind me. This installation is a partnership with Habitat for Humanity East Bay, who's building the homes um, that we're working on, and they're purchasing all the equipment with funding from PG&E, the local utility. So all of these systems are going to be provided to the homeowners free of charge. I pay between $65 to $135 a month, and here I'm going to pay a fraction of that living here. So it's going to save me a whole lot of money. These are all on-grid, grid-tied systems, so everything inside works exactly the same as a house without solar next to it, but when the panels are producing electricity, they either offset the electricity that you would otherwise be buying, or in some cases actually feed electricity back to the grid and spin your meter backwards. The only difference you see is on your electric bill. Essentially what we're putting on the roof here is a very small energy factory for, for each house and it's designed to last over 30 years and it's probably going to pay for itself in terms of the savings in about 15 years. And they'll know from here on out there always is going to be sunlight so they won't be affected as electricity prices continue to rise. Yeah, they, they will save us money. The meter will, will go back to zero and save us a lot of money. And if you think about the fact that one of these houses is going to offset 40 tons of CO2 emissions, think of the changes we could really